Kandurobo Shatarabas Seketerebo Sakataramama Yenderebo Shikatarababa Sakatarababa Sheketerebosa. Oh Lord, we thank you this morning. We honor you this morning. We glorify your holy name of God. Oh, what an awesome God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, Lord, we love you this morning. Daddy, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your glory. We thank you, mighty Father. We just want to say thank you this morning. Oh, what can we do without you, Lord? What can we achieve without you, O God? Where can we go without you, O God? What can we finish without you, O God? Everything is about you, O God. And we thank you, mighty Father. We give you praise this morning. We give you glory this morning. We give you honor this morning. We give you all adoration this morning. We just want to say, Daddy, we love you this morning. Thank you for waking us up. We know it's not the alarms that we set them that wakes us up this morning. But we know it's your mighty hand. We thank you, mighty Father. We know that, Lord, mighty Father, without you, we are nothing. We cannot do anything without you, God. We give you praise this morning. We give you glory this morning. We give you all adoration, God. We thank you, mighty Father, that Lord God Almighty, your word is so powerful. And I pray, mighty Father, as we are about to share your word that is so powerful. You said the entrance of your word brings light and it brings understanding to the simple. We thank you, mighty Father. You said heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will remain on God. And I pray in the name of Jesus, mighty Father, as we are going to eat your word, we know that mighty Father is going to flourish our bodies we're gonna change our soul it's gonna change uh, the way we see things are uh, god in the name of jesus you said mighty father oh mighty father you said your word is so powerful it is sharper than any double-sided sword and i pray in the name of jesus let it be in the name of jesus let it be this morning oh god in jesus name i pray amen hallelujah Greetings in the name of Jesus. I greet the saints of God this morning. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Vic. I greet you all in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, let us share the word of God in the book of 2 Kings chapter 7. And let us read from verse 1. Elisha said, listen, God's word, the famine is over. This time tomorrow, food will be plentiful. A handful of meal for a shikel, two handfuls of grain for a shikel. The market at the city gate will be buzzing. Hallelujah. The title of my message this morning is The Famine is Over. It happens here in Israel. There was famine. There was no food. Life was not okay. When there is famine, life is being threatened. When there is famine. So it happens here. Oh, shut up. It happened here in Israel. There was famine. Life was not okay. Things were not okay. Things were not adding up. Things were not shaping. Things were not shaped. Hallelujah. Life was horrible. But we hear the men of God. There was no hope. People lost hope. 
But here is the man of God, Elijah. He said, listen, I've got a word from God. I've got a word from God. And what is the word of God that Elisha is saying to the people of God? Listen. Elisha said, the famine is over. The famine is over. In the middle of the crisis, when there was no food at all, but here's the man of God is standing in the middle of the people and said, the famine is over. My brother, my sister, this is the word from God. The famine is over. I don't know what is bothering you. I don't know what is happening in your life. When you are thinking of waking up, sometimes you, you feel it is better to remain in bed because of the famine of this life. Because of the famine. Maybe as I'm speaking to you right now, maybe you are saying it's better for me to kill myself because of this famine. Maybe when I'm speaking right now, you don't see the future. But I wanna, I've got good news for you. The famine is over. Maybe I'm talking to you right now. You just got a report from the doctor and it's bad news. But I've got a word from God. The famine it's over. Maybe 2023 was not a great year. Maybe bills are everywhere. Maybe everybody's threatening you. But I want to say, my brother, my sister, the famine is over. Don't kill yourself. There's still hope in God. Trust in the Lord. Lean not your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. He is God by himself. He does not need me and you, but we need him because he's God. He is a sovereign God. He is our God. And I want to say to you, brothers and sisters, maybe 2023 was a bad year if you can name it like that. But I want to say to you, the famine is over. Trust in the Lord. Lean not your own understanding. If he said it, he will do it. Listen to this. There was a man who was very close to the king. He rejected this word. He rejected the word. Because he was leaning on his own understanding. And the man of God said, you will see it with your own eyes. But you won't participate. What killed this man is unbelief. He was thinking that God is depending on the economy. God is not depending on this economy. God is not depending on the rand and the dollar. No, he is God by himself. Maybe when we are, I'm speaking to you, the fridge is empty. Your bank account is empty. But I want to say to you, the famine is over. There might be a deal that you were trusting that it will come through and you are waiting and you are waiting and you are waiting and you are still waiting. But I want to say to you, my brother, my sister, the famine is over. Don't look at the conditions. Listen to the word of God. That's why Elisha said, listen to what God has said. Don't look at your surroundings. 
your surrounding will deceive you so many people who are deceived by their surroundings let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i'm rich let the blind say i can see because if you look at your surrounding you'll speak what your surrounding is telling you this man the man who was very close to the king he was looking at the surroundings and he was deceived my brother my sister mama the famine it's over the famine is over unto us unto us a child is born tomorrow we are celebrating the birth of our lord savior king jesus and as we are celebrating his birth i want to say to you the famine is over let him be born in your life there is no way the famine will survive when jesus is lord of your life your life will never be the same your life will take a different direction different shape when you trust him and you made him the lord of your life the fine mind it's over yes maybe 2023 was a tough year yes maybe 2023 things were not shaping up yes maybe now when i'm speaking to you things are still in a mess but i'm saying to you the famine is over the famine is over the famine is over the famine is over the famine it's over the market at the city gate will be buzzing your life is taking another direction hey i'm saying your life is taking a right direction now believe you my brother believe it believe it believe it don't be like that man who refused to believe the word of god the famine is over and i believe and i'm trusting god that 2024 it's a fruitful year it's a year of overflow it's a year of abundance i'm trusting god that things are shaping up i'm trusting god and i want to speak like this man of god who said the market at the city gate will be buzzing and i'm telling you your life will be buzzing people will coming from long distances uh, different different sides of the world coming to to you because your life is buzzing glory to god hallelujah hallelujah the famine is over that sickness is over that living hand to mouth is over the famine is over I said the famine it's over. Oh Lord we thank you for this word. The famine is over. There's no more famine in our lives. Glory to Jesus. I say glory to Jesus. Oh Lord we thank you this morning for this word. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior I want to pray with you this morning. Say Lord Jesus, come into my life. I now receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Take charge of my life. Lead me in greener pastures. Lord Jesus, I receive you now as my Lord. and my savior in Jesus name amen hallelujah 
God loves you, my brother. God take care of you. I wish you a happy. I said to you, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let Jesus be born in your life. Let Jesus take control of your life. You cannot enter into 2024 without Jesus. Let Jesus be the Lord of your life. Let Jesus take care of your life. Let Jesus take control of your life. You cannot make it without Jesus. You need Jesus. I need Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful, awesome Sunday. We love you. From Pastor Vic and Pastor Rips. God bless you. Amen.